he, he talks sense, and um, there's not many more people in the game that are more experienced than, than him. You, you imagine how many players he's had to deal with, how many chairmen he's had to deal with, how many agents he's had to deal with, and, and so on. And no one would have done more than that than him. So when he talks, he talks sense, so you have to listen to him. But he's, he, I have to say that his team talks do go on for, for quite a while. He goes over the, the same things uh, on and on, but um, yeah, they go on for, for a bit longer than they should do, really, but uh, we enjoy them. We more or less know their team, um, but we've, we've heard that Schimagel isn't playing and um, Berkovic is, is out. And we've spent two days on this, haven't we? How they play, how to contract it, what can we do, what do they do? Clever player, you know that, Benerbia. Playmaker, loves to be free, can't be free, can't give him time on the ball, can't give him space. Uh, he'll punish us if we do, so we've got to really tie him down. The wing-backs off a width, like to get the ball, so again, Solana and, um, and Robert will, will handle that. Um, if we work at it, if we, if we condense the play and come in when we lost the ball, a mark from the inside would be OK. Can we handle the two strikers, Anelka and, and Gota? Gota's strong, not bad in the air. Anelka obviously has the pace. So that's the team. And I repeat, let me just go quickly through the, the logistics. And remember, they have got the service and they have got people who are good in the air. They've got at least five come to the box. Don't give away unnecessary corners. Don't give away stupid free kicks outside the box unnecessarily. If you have to do it, you have to do it. But if you don't, for Pete's sake, hang on to your feet, all right? Don't, you know, make pretty poor tackles. Be alert, all right? And obviously, we're just going to, you know, pick up markers. I've done the best I can, and I think it's OK. So JJ on Foley, who's tall, and he's a... You remember Mark V before? Good in the air, son. He's, he climbs well. No better than you. And obviously, Distan is a danger. We had Distan here. You know what he's like. He's a big guy. He jumps well. He's fearsome. Dabby, it's, you come in at the right time for him, son. So we'll put Dabby on him. Cole on Howie, who jumps quite well, um, Stevie, as you probably know. Just let me cover uh, Bernabe again. So Bernabe from the right will take him with his right foot. He'll curl it in, as Horlock does. Hey, there's, there's a situation where Horlock might go in there. Sunji High will come here, so they'll try and play 2 on 1. And Bernabe is so clever. If he's on two on one, you won't get the ball. So we just need again, to Kieran, so go near post both sides. Both sides go near post. You're quick. Leave Solana on, on, on the post, if it happens, all right? We can handle the orthodox stuff. It's just the unorthodox stuff, eh? Keep alive. Just be aware that they get in, in the course of a game of football, three or four short corners. We, we've got to tie down. We've got to be alert. Movement is very important. You know that. Service and movement. Keep those things going. From the left, obviously, we've got Robert. I don't mind Nobby. If we get a, a few corners and you feel that, you know, we can swap over with him and you can take an in-swinger, I don't mind that at all. Just judge it yourself. But again, we obviously hit in certain areas. And as long as we've got those five players in there, with good movement, we have a chance. Good line. Shea gets the one over the top. And obviously, in front, with Robert, Kieran, and Nobby on the midfield. Just look for a little two-on-one, uh, Kieran, so you know, get, get over to Rubber so that if it's a two, if it's two on against one, they'll run it. If it's two on two, they'll knock it. We've got free kicks, and you know, it's a choice. It's, it's, it's an intelligent, Laurent, it's an intelligent choice, isn't it? You know, so, you know, is it a left foot? If, is it wide? Is it, is it a knocking for Allen? Or is it a nice, clever shot? got three experienced players on the ball, you have to make a decision. Don't screw it up. That's all you've got to do. And obviously, second ball situations. To be fair to Nash, he's not a ski Michael, just might come off him and, uh, and just take advantage of that. JJ, give us, give us a, like a ricochet, JJ. We've got Alan, Nobby, or Laurent. We've got a great choice of free kicks. Fabulous choice. We've got a power, we've got a left foot, we've got a right foot. And just to make sure that we know what we're doing, when I get this paper unraveled. Uh, again, on the right, you know, the same things that we do, and basically they, they, they are good and we don't need to change it. It's just very effective. Just finally, eh? Just, to, just let me re-emphasize 
and remind you about things that we've done the last two days. Eh? Important points, eh? Remember long throws. It, it's, not it's not necessary for Alan to come up for long throws because the ball goes out of play and he gets there quickly and it doesn't allow time for any of the centre-halves to get up anyway. He just slings it over the top. He's done it for us, hasn't he? You remember? So he'll do it again. So there's no point Alan coming back because Alan hasn't got time to come back. So be aware of that. Be alert to the short corners. They don't do them all the time, but they get three or four in during the game. So don't get caught on short corners. Quick starts. Keen, Keen likes that, you know, so they get a free, quick, quick free kick, hand on ball, and away they play. So it's a free kick. If you turn your back, they're at you. So free kick you've given. Look at the ball, walk back, like a referee does. Gives a whistle and he runs back. He runs backwards. It's all about collective pressing, eh? And it's the same thing in midfield. We can only do it if Nobby gets in and back, Laurent gets in and back. We have four against there, five if you like. And we pick up the dangerous player, the most dangerous player on the ball, all right? We've got to do that team pressing. It's no good one at one. It only needs one player to cop out and we're, and we're short. The chain is weakened. The weak link has cost us the match. We've talked about Man City. What about us, eh? So it's ourselves, eh? It's our belief. It's our command of the ball. It's our strength. It's our pace. It's our pacey players. So it's Dyer, it's Bellas, it's Laurent, Nobby's quick, JJ's got the legs. I'm talking about in, in attack now, aren't I? You know, plus obviously the overlapping play from the full backs. Get the ball, Aaron. Get the ball, um, Olivier. You spare, you'll get it all day from Shea. If you want to use the width of the pitch, you'll get it, you'll turn, and we can play our football. Right? So look to get it, all right? So it's about all those things. Hey, and listen, we have a fantastic home record. We've won 10 out of 11, we should have won that one. We played as well in that one against Leeds as we played all season, but lost it. Hey, and that can happen, I understand all that, all right? So we have this wonderful record. You know the position, it's a big opportunity for us to and we're all disappointed, we're all angry, so are the fans. It's our first visit back home since Wolverhampton. It's our chance just to give something back, to give a return to the fans, all right? So we're back at home for the first time since Wolverhampton, all right? It's a big opportunity for us. Don't miss out. You know Man City, Bolton on Wednesday, the six points, if we can, to pick up. If we pick up the six points, we're in the most terrific position. And let's threaten, Man um, let's threaten um, Arsenal and, and, and Manchester United. Let's threaten it. Let's challenge them. You don't know what's going to happen in those two clubs. Yeah, they look brilliant. And they are first and second. We're fourth, so we a skip away. And you know this. If we win, our rem if we win today and we win our remaining match against Bolton Wanderers, we're second. Joint second with Man, with Man United. Joint second. So that's the motivation. That's what you've got to play for. Hey, let's go and win, eh? Get out there and let's pick up three points. Come on, I want to win. Go and get it for me. Okay. Come on, boys. He could give you a feeling that you know you could, yeah, and you're never going to lose today. You always, you know, that good feeling that you're going to win today. You're going to have a nice game. You work hard and come on, let's go for it. And I mean, just you know, if you feel a bit nervous or. Uh, or insecure or whatever, when he talks to you it's all gone and you feel like you're the best and that's, that's great.